he's just sitting there smiling at me and I'm like, I don't need you, but he's like, but look at how cute I am. And I Never go shop with me unless you want me to enable your purchases because I'm really good at doing that. Hello my loves and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9 and today I'm coming at you with Oh, the phone's going off. Oh, oh, getting popular. Today I'm coming at you with um, an Elsa and Olaf plaza because I have cut my hand but don't worry I've matched it with my trousers which I'll show you in an outfit of the day. I realised when I was editing the vlog that I've actually forgotten to eat another two days worth of advent calendar chocolate so today's going to be another double whammy white chocolate snack. Are you ready? Because I know I am. Let's see. I think it's a soldier. I don't know if you can see it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a little cheeky horse today. I'm back with Santa again. Today I'm going to tell you two jokes because I thought both of them were quite funny. So the first one is, how do you know when Santa is around? Because you can always sense his presence. <laughs> you get it? Because his presence and also he's got the gifts. And then the second one, which I thought was actually pretty smart, it's what do you get when you cross a Christmas tree with an apple? No wait, that's not the that's not the joke. No no no, the second time. What do you get when you cross a Christmas tree with an iPad? A pineapple. I get it because the Christmas tree is a pine, or well, pine tree, and an iPad is from Apple. So when you cross them together, you get a pineapple. And I feel like it's never that fun when you have to explain it, but I had to explain it to myself, so that was my thought process. Let's show you today's outfit because I'm really pleased with it. So I've got my necklace set. Two chokers, one with shoe on it, one with just a gold chain and two gold coins. And I've got this oversized off the shoulder black jumper, which is super cozy. And you don't have to wear it off the shoulder if you don't want to, but I, I, I like the look and I like that you're able to wear it oversized like this. And so I've tucked it into a pair of high-waisted trousers from Sister Jane. And I really, really love this blue metallic color. I don't own anything like this in my wardrobe. And then I'm gonna wear my brand new brown boots for the first time today. So I've got a little bit of brown in there blue black nice neutral a pop of color and today's question of the day is what type of presents do you like to give and receive so for me personally I love to gift experiences and like have written personalized things because I just think it's so joyous to be able to like create new memories to strengthen a friendship or relationship and um, so experiences I think are the best to like give and receive but also to receive I also love like practical gifts as well one of my favorite presents I've ever ever received was when I was 18 years old. I think I've shared a story before, but I asked everybody um, in my friendship circle to just get an A4 piece of paper because when you're 18, you don't have a lot of like dispendable, dispend, disposable income. And I just asked them to just fill out an A4 piece of paper with whatever they wanted. They could write a little letter, they could do a doodle, a scribble, but it was just something that came from the heart. That was for my birthday, which I just think is so much more special than like going to a shop to buy something. But if you're gonna gift me some jewelry, then I'm also not gonna say no. But um, anyway, that's today question of the day let me know in the comments below what yours is Bills was first opened as a produce shop and cafe in Lewis in 2001 and its popularity quickly grew into restaurants all around the nation and there's a big focus on seasonal food there and I love that the main menu changes all the time and I just think it feels like a home away from home so I always have a great old cosy time whenever I'm in Bills. The mains have arrived and this is the Boxing Day turkey curry with carrots, parsnips, some rice crackers and coconut rice. This is almost like a deconstructed tuna taco salad so we've got some tortillas, some tuna steaks, sesame seeds, cherry tomatoes, chili peppers and coriander and sour cream. They also have the fish pie which is so full of fish and seafood and prawns with a cheesy mashed potato topping and then also an ain't out steak with peppercorn sauce and fries. Fries and peppercorn are such a great mix. That was lovely. So Bill's is always one of those like really nice cozy spots. Even if it's chain, I always have such like a good time there because the service is always lovely, the staff are great and I like the changing venue. So yeah, it's just like a cute little 
cozy spot because I'm in the area I'm going to go to paper chase and then have a mooch around at the shops to show you what the decorations are looking like and what the general like high street is looking like as well so yeah let's go and find some baubles also apparently in the states you don't say baubles do you you say ornaments and not baubles and I think baubles is a more of a British word I don't know but I like the way baubles baubles <laughs> right now there's queues to get into H&M and Tiger and there's construction work going on but it's quite busy and there's also a little queue to get into paper chase as well just spotted that they now have a 50 percent off sale for baubles so let's have a look at what cute baubles there are oh no they've got chili sauce one there's someone who loves chili sauce i might actually have to get that oh they've got a little cute sushi one they've got a little cute burger one and for those down under they've got one of a kangaroo Oh, I love looking at baubles. Oh, a cute lobster one, because I think it's so fun. There's this one, which I might actually get. It's a matcha green tea one. Got an avocado one. <gasps> My sister's found <laughs> a glittery scotch egg for scotch egg lovers. Paper chase, they've got it. I had a baboon in time standing there looking at all of the different types of designs there are in paper chase. It's a shop full of cute stationery, notebook and lifestyle bits and bobs. And can we just take a moment to appreciate how adorable these designs are? Santa's paragliding and there's also a dinosaur wearing a pink tutu with very fabulous pink nails as well I've got to say who else loves stationery and notebooks and also in terms of like baubles what kind of person are you are you someone that likes to have things like you know like color-coded and themed or do you like something that's a bit more like different quirky I know quite a few of you collect baubles over the years and they're like sentimental and they're extra special so let me know what kind of baubles you have and which ones are them that you would want to pick I'm gonna settle with this this one so this one is a sparkly fish and chips and nod to my Brighton South Coast days with this like plate and newspaper with the sparkly chips so I'm gonna get this one as well and it is like a salmon hand roll because I always order them salmon and avocado with some crab sticks in there but look at how cute this is <laughs> my sister's going to get this one and it's so cute it's a little dog with a gold star Christmas tree <laughs> uniform it's so cute look at him what a good boy and she's also thinking of getting this one as well which are two penguins and a baby penguin musically I'm a bad rapper but I'm also a very bad present rapper so whenever I see like cute wrapping paper and ribbons and things I really admire the people who make it so pretty and neat because I'm definitely not one of those people I don't know if these are wine holders or not but these are like ginger shaped bags I'm gonna pretend that this comes with a bottle of wine and this would make me a very happy person maybe this would be the gift that I'd like to receive this year things I spotted that I do not need is this mince pie plushie he's just sitting there smiling at me and I'm like I don't need you but he's like but look at how cute I am and I'm like yes I know but I don't need you but look how cute <laughs> stop he's got a little furry head and a little star like a mince pie but he's the plushie and look at his little legs peeking out it's a gingerbread man in the distance wearing glasses and then what's this one a christmas pudding but drunken and lopsided <laughs> that was 550 for both baubles and one bauble itself was six pounds so i mean i want to say it was quite a bargain i mean i didn't need it but for future baubles <laughs> get it past December because it's way cheaper once everyone's ready to put up their tree. So yeah, I've got two little cute ones now. After this, I took a quick trip to Muji. Sweet, sweet Muji. While I'm here, a quick trip to Muji. I just like to go here because I like to pretend that I'm back in Hong Kong or Japan. And also I like standing in front of these things because it smells so good. I can smell it through my face mask. <laughs> Ooh, I look like a mythical, look like a magical. Stop it. These pens are 20% off, but I don't need them. I find walking around Muji to be a very, very calming experience. Like right now they've got some flute music playing <laughs> and it makes me feel like I'm walking around Zelda or something. I've got a staff member that's thinking I'm really weird for recording to camera, but she's definitely to it. And I just find I'm like walking around, just pretending I've been transported into a world of organisation and colour-coded pens and containers. And my heart is happy listening to this music. <laughs> Would you look at all of these different wooden bowls and plates and bowls? <laughs> oh. I am completely bowled over by the selection of crockery bowls and plates. I love the blue and white design. 
I don't know what this mini spoon is used for, oh, but look at how cute it is. This is my thumb in comparison. I absolutely do not need this, but I really love these clear cups. I think it'd be so nice with a coffee or this one with a shot of espresso and it's got a matching plate as well. But if anyone else is in the market, please get these so I can live vicariously through you. Update, I've just shown my sister. She's like, oh, maybe we should get it for the coffee machine. I'm like, yeah, you definitely should. So I think that might be happening. Do you know what I love about shopping? I love it when I get other people to shop and I shop via them. Never go shop with me unless you want me to enable your purchases because I'm really good at doing that. Stop that before I get my uh, copywriter done. But I have just spent the last about 10, 15 minutes dancing along to Katy Perry's Rise. I was listening to this when I was editing yesterday's vlog because I was like, come on, you. You're already three hours past the 6 p.m. upload date. Uh, it's already around half nine. You better be exporting. I was listening to this and ASMR interchangeably to go from a mix of like calming myself down to also be like, get a move on, get that vlog up. So yeah, I'm still in that quite far. Ooh. I promise I've not had like a cocktail or anything. I'm just a bit giddy apparently. But I'm gonna end today's vlog here, a very, very chill one because tomorrow, which is Vlogmas Day 10, you're going to love it because I'm gonna go back into central London. That's me snaking myself back into central London. And then I'm gonna go into Chinatown for a lunch like an hour later. Um, and then I'm gonna show you around Covent Garden and more of Chinatown, Leicester Square, maybe a bit of Piccadilly, but also wanna do a whole video dedicated to Piccadilly as well in the next few weeks. So I'll just show you a little sneak peek maybe and then it's back here to film and then I've got an event in the evening from home so tomorrow's gonna be a busy day so today's one's a pretty chill one just to prep for that and um, yeah thank you so much for watching and I left a series of soppy stories on my Instagram yesterday but in case you don't follow me on there on Instagram which is at Dojashiro and actually you I just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching these videos every single day and for making this a part of your daily routine like honestly it means so much and your comments every single day your feedback you answering the questions on Honestly keeps me going and it just makes this so much more fun because I'm like oh I can't wait to see what you think you know the next day and just being able to get to know you on much more of a personal level because before I know that I just did kind of like weekly uploads and things and this way I just feel like having this daily interaction makes me feel like I just just get to know you so much more from friend to a friend it means so 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 much to me so from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for making these vlogmas videos as part of your daily routine every single day and i just i feel very very lucky that i'm part of your day so thank you and i'll see you tomorrow for vlogmas day 10 baby so um yeah enjoy <laughs> hope you enjoyed the bubble chat and i'll see you then good night